Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to look at how to create ripple effect for our text based on movements from a video. So let's go ahead and have a look. So what we have here is a video of what is rippling and we're going to make our text ripple based on what we see here. So let's take our video to the Fusion page. Now we're going to tackle a couple things here, one of which is to create the reflection and then the other one is to create the ripple effect. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and bring our text node into the editor and then drag it into the viewer. So now let's go ahead and write our text and also pick a font as well as font style that you think is going to work best for you. I'm also going to uh, bump up the size a lot and then uh, bring the text up a little bit. So now we can go ahead and copy and paste uh, this text node and the pasted text node is going to become the reflection. So let's pipe it back into the original text node and then I'll also bring merge one back to a media in one. Uh, so now let's go ahead and drag media out one into the viewer to have a look at what we have so far. Okay, so to create the actual reflection, all we need to do at this point is to add a transform node in between the pasted text node and merge one. And here in the transform node, we're going to flip our text. So this is going to give us the reflection of the text. Okay, so now at this point to make the reflection more realistic, there are a lot of things we can do. One of which is to add a blur node and bump up the blur size a little bit. And we can also come to merge one and tune down the blend parameters so that it's becoming a little bit more transparent. Okay, now at this point, uh, we're gonna move on to the fun part, which is to create the ripple effect. And to create that, to do that, we're gonna need a couple nodes. One of which is bitmap, and the other one is going to be displace. So let's bring those into the node editor. And the first thing we're gonna do here is to hold down the shift key and then bring the displace node in between the pasted text node and the transform node. Now what displace node can do is to move our text based on some sort of image mapping. But since we don't have that right now, you're gonna see that there's nothing happening to the text. So this is where bitmap is going to come into uh, play. So we're going to pipe our original video into the bitmap node. And then let's drag the bitmap node into the viewer. So you're going to see that there's nothing happening right now. But if we change the channel from alpha to, let's say, luminance, you're going to see that now we have created a mask based on the luminance value in our video. And we can then feed this into displace, which will then use it to uh, move our text. So now if we drag media outline to the viewer and then come back to the edit page, you guys can see that already we have now created a text rippling effect based on the movement of the water waves from our video. But we're not done yet. So let's come back to the Fusion page and try to accentuate this effect a little bit more. And one of the things we can do is to add a brightness and contrast node in between bitmap and the original video. Now, since our mask was created based on luminance values, so if we bring down the contrast parameter, for example, you're gonna see that we're going to lose this effect completely. But if we start to do the opposite, let's bring up the contrast parameter. Now you're going to see that this effect is going to come alive and it's going to become more vivid. Now, the other thing we can do is to come to the displace uh, node and let's uh, adjust the refraction strength and offset parameters. Now, what they will allow you to do is to change up the magnitude of the displacement. So now you're gonna see that this effect is really going to stand out and they definitely add more elements, more drama to the overall look. And another thing we can do is to change type from the dial to XY. This will also allow you to change refraction strength and offset, but for X axis and Y axis independently. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and uh, bring this back to the edit page and have a look at what we have so far. So uh, yeah, this effect is looking really good guys at this point and this is basically it for our text ripple effect. And one last thing I wanna bring up is that if we uh, go back to the Fusion page, we can make color adjustments to our background video here uh, by dropping a brightness and contrast node in between mer uh, media in one and merge two uh, without having to worry that all the color adjustments that we hear that we make here is going to affect the text ripple effect because uh, media in one node was branched out separately for that so i just want to quickly bring that up and i hope you uh, learned something from this guys hope it helps and uh, i will see you next time <music>